If you're just tuning in, we are learning how to spend, <laughs> especially during <laughs> festive seasons. Yeah. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at We Show Africa One with the hashtag We Show, or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. You see, eh, my head is just swelling here. You know, <laughs> because um, honestly speaking, um, listening to you, Tammy, I have so many things in my head right? I'm trying to just reduce it to the topic that we chose. It's not like we cannot broaden the, the, the conversation. We'll, we'll take the rest of ah, we, have to, <laughs> we have to do part five, part 10, part 100 of this show, because I think, um, honestly speaking, a lot of the mistakes that we've made, especially when it comes to finance, and it is a general common mistake that a lot of people make, mm -hmm. is that we do not learn mm -hmm. anything about finance. You know that a friend of mine once told me something that take your time, so she, she used to watch, um, she followed, um, I think, Financial Times. Right. She, she Steady. She said, see, there's no how you can ever be wealthy if you do not learn, as you don't know, you don't have um, common knowledge of what I wealth agree. creation and finance is. Absolutely. A lot of us, when it comes to business news, we just look away. We don't watch news. With, so I made it deliberate, you know. There's a particular channel I, I follow. I make sure I watch their business reports. Oh, every yes. day because mm -hmm. i'm just trying to say you know what let me break that circle of poverty absolutely <laughs> absolutely and it's the oh, yeah. full spectrum yeah right it's mm. the full spectrum from even your money mindset what kind of relationship do you have with, with money, money. Yeah. are you one of those people that just see a rich man and say he must have done something he must have mm. done for one night or something mm -hmm. that kind of mentality will make money run yeah you know do you believe that money can control you or mm. you will control money yeah. so it's even from that mindset yeah. to understanding you know how to earn money and then how to keep it mm -hmm. and even how to understand the market to say okay this is not the time to even be investing yeah. in this currency yeah. so so talking about that um there are people you have talked about people that are earning uh, like earning steady income, mm. paid salaries mm -hmm. on a monthly basis. There are people that their business or what they do, their craft is, okay, like for instance, let's take for instance actors. Right. Mm -hmm. It is per job. Irregular. Right. Income. Their income is not regular. It's not mm -hmm. a steady thing. It's not monthly. So it is on the job. So I earn maybe 500K today. Tomorrow it might be 50K job that I got mm -hmm. and all of that. Their income is not consistent. Mm -hmm. So how would you say that kind of a person should have, you know, plan, you know, especially when it comes to festivities. Okay, we've, Christmas is here in two days. There's going to be a New Year celebration. Absolutely. There's going to be Valentine. There's going to be Easter. There's going to be summer. Next year, Christmas and all of that. So if I were to be in that position where my income is not regular, with a monthly one, I think I, I'm, I'm able to think about it and structure it. Mm -hmm. But for those that do not have regular income, how would you advise, you know, that they go about structuring that you know, um, I like that plan. she slipped in Valentine as one of the holidays. <laughs> yes, so. I'm like, I got that, you know. So the very first step, you know, for anybody, mm. regardless of your craft or if you earn regular or irregular salary, mm. is to assess where you are, right? So you're an actor. You don't get paid every month. But if you look back in the past one, two, three, four, five years, you kind of had a pattern, right? You kind of know that, okay, you know, year five, I made one million naira. It didn't come like that, but it was one million. So if mm -hmm. I was going to pay myself a monthly salary, I know I shouldn't be spending more than like 70, 80 K mm -hmm. per month, mm -hmm. right? So every time that inflow comes, you know that you have to warehouse it somewhere and pay yourself a small percentage. So you kind of have an idea mm -hmm. of what you're worth. You have an idea of what comes in. But more importantly, having multiple streams of income is for you. That, that person that doesn't have the regular, you know, more than ever, you have to keep doing something. You know, you have to look for other things that you can monetize to be sure that if money is not, because you can't control how many roles you get. What if nobody calls you for a role in six months, mm. right? So you must be able to control your own. This life is hard enough. Exactly. Things are happening that you can't control. So mm. your future, your finances is not you something that, you know, control. you must exactly. leave to chance. To yeah. Absolutely. So, mm. you know, you have to find other ways to earn money. Mm. But that kind of person... Every time you get that bulk funding, mm -hmm. you have to put it in a fund somewhere, you know, where it's growing, you know, interest is accruing, but you're paying yourself monthly for your transactional account. Mm -hmm. That's something that can potentially work. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me about, take, um, okay, so you see, you, you come, let me just quickly say, I mean, bring in some of our audience. Um, Jen, is it Jenny? Angela says, ha, I spend more money, oh, I need help. 
Then um, Loretta says, your guest, Tammy, please, we need her to design a financial literacy course for kids. I'm working on it. For kids, it. so she's working on it. <laughs> then um, Kelvin says, MMM return is what we all want. I like the breakdown <laughs> on compounded interest. <laughs> This is, this is making me crack looking up. for 60%. Looking for Ponzi schemes. <laughs> no, she said that everybody is, and it's true, everybody wants this MMM return. Which where they money? promise you, fast, fast, they promise fast, fast. you something that if you check is not feasible. You, you know, in investment, before you go, there's something we call the risk return trade-off, mm. right? It's funny to me when somebody says to you, you earn 60% in 30 days, but mm. there's no risk. Uh-uh. Mm. The risk, for every iota of return you get, there's risk. So if you're saying to me that the return is 60%, that's when I'm going to run because mm -hmm. you're giving me 60 times risk. Mm -hmm. Do you get That's why when you buy treasury bills or bonds, these are essentially risk-free mm -hmm. because a government that has issued it is not going to default, right? That's why the return is not usually high, high. compared to like alternative investments and all. So the more the return you see, mm -hmm. The you should the get a microscope for the risk to say hmm. what exactly am I putting my money hmm. into. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, go ahead, we've talked see. about um, low income earners, we've talked about irregular earners, mm -hmm. we've also talked about individuals who do not earn, um, they earn a monthly income, which right. are regular uh, earners. And we talked about um, individuals or um, child literacy mm -hmm. as well. So, would you say that um, education? Um, financial education should can start at any point. Is it from, is it from childhood? Is it from um, middle Maybe age or secondary mistakes. school? Mm -hmm. Even whenever you've made a mistake, mm -hmm. is it possible for you to bounce back and Absolutely. learn something? The best time. And what was is the then, best way the next to go best ahead time is now. to do mm -hmm. it? Absolutely. So I mean, for children, right? As soon as they can count. As soon as they can count, you can start to teach them about money. You know, your piggy bank, you know, it's your short-term money, mm -hmm. and then I'll open an account for you, and that's your long-term money. You don't have access to it, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And then if you've missed out before, it's never too late. Just wherever you are, just start. You know, assess yourself. What is my net worth? you know, my assets in totality today, what is it? And how much am I owing? You know, the difference is how much you're worth. Mm. And then you start to build your budget and your planning around that. It's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful journey. You just need to understand what you're doing and realize that, okay, I need to have a plan. So I'm going to do Dirty December. Mm. I start planning for that. In fact, I put out a fictional story mm. on LinkedIn about, I, I tagged it um, Dara's Dirty December, mm. talking about salary earners because around here, you know, in December, December salary comes early. They mm. pay you like second week of December. And then you finish the money before, before Christmas. January. And then January salary. <laughs> it is and finished. January. You know, so I'm like, why don't you start? And then so there's something we also call black tax. You know, it's okay. more amplified around festivities. Mm. So this was coined um, in the U.S., in the black community, where you find that narrative of oh, this black person is the first person to go to college in a mm. family. So for that reason, as a young professional, the black tax is the money that you make out to struggling family members. To help sometimes out. out of guilt, sometimes out of compulsion, but you mm -hmm. have to help, you know, everybody. And then you do that, and then you cannot save. It's heightened during, you know, festivities because you're like, okay, I need to exactly, buy this for my mom, for this my family. Person. And then you end up having nothing. So and much then you're cranky. And, you know, so spread that cost throughout the year. What wow. do you do as a family over Christmas, over Diwali, right? Mm. You know what you do. You know how many people you have to buy stuff mm. for. Start to put that money aside. If you started putting 20K aside mm. in January, mm. you have 240K for dirty December plus mm. interest. Mm. Without touching. What about for daily your salary? Daily hmm. income earners. Okay, so you can also do something. It doesn't have to be that much. Mm -hmm. One one thousand naira a day mm -hmm. is three sixty five k. Yes, yeah, so I want in them to be aware that they can do something. Mm -hmm. So I had to throw the, in that. Question. Absolutely. So, so it's, it's not for. I keep saying again mm -hmm. that look, the way you would treat Andre K in the mm -hmm. bank today, mm -hmm. that mentality you have, that relationship you have with money. Mm -hmm. That's the way you would behave when the balance is 10 million. Absolutely. So it's better to start when you have 10,000 naira. Mm. Or 1,000 naira. Absolutely. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, so I'm very guilty of millennials. <laughs> Let me not wash my dirty linen in public. But stay me. I can see your bone straight. Yeah, dirty no, December. no, no, no. You this know, bone so straight. you just. Had to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let us not talk about Bull Street. <laughs> you know, you know, you know how um, you talked about savings, right? 
some of us have the culture of saving, especially maybe we open an account for our children, mm -hmm. but we end up touching that money. <laughs> <laughs> you end up finding use for the money, right? That way you are broke. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think, so for me, how do we even go about um, that financial discipline? Right? How do we go about it? Is it that you have to create an account where even you cannot access it? Mm -hmm. Or how do you go about it? Because if the account is there, in fact, I <laughs> deliberately do not put some kind of funds in my personal account because I have mobile app. Yeah. Just tell me how much I transfer Just move to it. you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? <laughs> so that discipline is not there. And a lot of us are struggling with that discipline. Mm -hmm. And we won't be able to, you know what, say, Come 2021, mm -hmm. whatever it is that I'm spending. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody said something one time that said that even up to fuel money, mm -hmm. you bought gala on the road, write it down. You mm -hmm. do. So by the time you calculate how much you spend in a month, you'll be shocked as to how much you're spending and you're complaining that you do not yes. have money. And go a step further, right? Mm -hmm. By the time you do that calculation, mm -hmm. if you can just categorize it, my needs and my wants. Mm -hmm. The needs are the things that are absolutely essential. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done without it. And then the wants that I'm like, huh. It's a nice to have. Mm -hmm. We would see most times that the ones, the ones that are you're three spending. times. Ah, you so see that it. discipline uh -huh. has so to be there. So how do we now go about this? Mm -hmm. I mean, so the first thing is always good to have an accountability partner. So if it's like the account for the children, mm -hmm. you know, you have to be watching your husband and then he's policing you, you know, just to be accountable, right? That's number one. Number two, keep it in a place that is not accessible. You know, mm -hmm. put it like in a mutual fund or something mm -hmm. where there's like a lock-in period and before you can, with, in fact, the stress of withdrawing it, mm -hmm. it's a deterrent. It's just disincentivizes, you know, you just go in there as, as frequently mm -hmm. as you please. So you can have like a mutual fund where every month, you know, you're just putting something in there and it's growing. Again, mm -hmm. look, I keep telling people, the only money you want to save, right, is the money that is for maybe like emergency mm -hmm. or there's like a short term, I need it, you know, Whatever money you have, every penny has to count. It has to grow. Mm. So investing is actually more important, you know, than saving. Mm. Saving, yes, you know, sometimes um, it's an accretion. You want it to grow before you use it for something. But we have to be very intentional about growing our money. Mm. You know, so just put it in an instrument that is far away. It's not on your app. You can't reach it, right? Mm. It's easy to just move money there monthly. And should you need it, you know, then you have to go to that entity to say i'd like mm. to draw or something and you go through a lot of just just put it in an account that is not again those mm -hmm. three accounts and transactional accessible. saving and investment so the investment account is not the one that has a card that you can just swipe accessible. easily mm. no it shouldn't be there was something no um talked about she talked about um Nigeria not being, um, what did you talk about in terms of uh, luxury items? Oh, oh yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, in terms of um, Nigeria not uh, being, being able to afford, luxury, afford luxury, yeah. luxury items in 2021, and um, you talked about needs and wants, mm -hmm. right? So, in terms of needs and wants, um, do you think Nigeria or Nigerians would be able to abstain from luxury items. You know, mm. as Nigerians, we like our things. When we catch on the bug, we do it to the extreme. Like mm -hmm. bone strength. Bone strength. <laughs> <laughs> and the iPhone and everything. You know, exactly. so the macros, when CBN released that, you know, obviously they were looking at the macros and economic conditions and the fact that, you know, they've had to push our palliatives, palliatives yeah. that do not go out, mm. you know, but hey, a lot of people have lost money, right? And when you're talking about these luxurious items, you mm. know, their foreign currency um, items. So imagine when you could buy at 360 mm -hmm. and now black market is somewhere around four. Five, so yeah. It's five, definitely more expensive. Five. So that in itself should tell you that if this thing is not actually something that I need to breathe, let's normalize saying I can't yes, afford it. There's nothing wrong. Yeah, but wait. He's saying I can't afford it. Me, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why should you borrow for no, something we, that are you are cannot afford? I will disagree with you there. You see, people Nigeria, feel... we are very superficial. Yes. <laughs> We are, as in, we are showstoppers. Yes. We have to borrow. That's to why you see that you, they will tell you, hey, a big influencer on social media caught stealing uh, bronze straight hair. <laughs> you know, so I, I'm saying that, you know, is it a mindset problem that we have that we just feel like we need to impress? Because mm -hmm. people borrow. There was, a, <laughs> there was a video that went viral of a guy that went to, to buy Mercedes on credit mm -hmm. and he now sold the Mercedes that he bought on credit. How do you? <laughs> Like, yes, I saw it. <laughs> Not only do you owe, yeah, you, you like, sold it. So how do you money. buy it back? That's my point. You know? 
So this is something that is big. Right? So is it just the okay for you to just say, you know what, I'm because we are superficial, tell me. It's if I come society. to your office and I tell you that I want to do a meeting, you size me from head to toe. <laughs> you understand? It is the thing. Even when you go to corporate organizations that mm -hmm. you want to have a meeting and all of that, you have to look the part. So some exactly. people have to borrow. It's in Nigeria that I heard you have to fake it to yes. make it. I'm like, what if you get caught while faking it? <laughs> you, you haven't made it. Yes, you know, what do you, you do? Know, so how do you I even do he, that? I think it's just society, you know, and at the end mm -hmm. of the day, some of it may be self-esteem. Like, mm. your bone straight can be touching the floor mm -hmm. i'll just tell you look good babe but i'm still gonna floss my own like i don't have to go and buy it exactly. you know so it's you um it's society when you look around like the kind of examples you see around a lot of young people want to go into politics today mm. not because they, they care about it's community lucrative. thank you they want to be able to buy those pjs yeah, and all those things so, so i think so it's where society. are the quick tips as we are wrapping up now because oh we, we are wrapping up oh my yeah, goodness so we are, we are <laughs> forgot at the time you know so what are the quick tips you would like to share with so, anyone that is struggling with you know balancing their books when it comes to their personal finance so i mean let me start off you know by saying look let's normalize saying i can't afford it there's no mm. shame in this game right mm. try to get a working budget and stick as close to it as possible. So it's not perfect, you know, because when it's too rigid, when it's too perfect, you know, that's why you now start to feel a certain way if you don't meet it, right? Mm -hmm. So just know that it's progress. It's mm -hmm. not perfection. So if I didn't meet my budget last month, I'll do better this month. Mm -hmm. Try to get a working budget. Um, mm -hmm. The fact that it's on sale does not mean you should buy it. You know, because mm -hmm. I hear stuff like, oh, it's 50% off. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be 40K, but I bought it at 20K, so I've saved 20. <laughs> no, darling, you spent 20. Mm -hmm. You know, the only time it's a bargain is if you absolutely needed, not that wanted, thing, yeah. needed that thing, and then the price dropped, needed and you're like, wants. oh, it's a bargain. So mm -hmm. it's on Need sale doesn't wants. mean you need to buy. If you can afford it, fine. You know, if you can't, it's good. Mm -hmm. Let's try to resist buying stuff on credit. Especially mm. around seasonality. So that mm. emotional, oh, I've worked too hard. I beg as I they walk. You, I, you only live work. <laughs> Thank you. You know, let's practice more delayed gratification. Mm. Let me save now. And then in future, when I've met my financial goals, I can mm -hmm. buy something mm -hmm. to reward myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and we should enjoy life. Nobody is saying that you should become so frugal that, you know, you like going on holidays. Put it in the budget the plan. and start saving mm -hmm. towards it, you know. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the best way to do it. You just have to be very intentional about it. Have a plan. Know that it's not a, I can't just wake up today and say I'm putting my money in equity market. How old are you? Is it an up market? Is it a down market? Why are you buying the particular share? Mm -hmm. What is the time horizon? Are you going for your master's next year? Then that money shouldn't be in the equity market. Mm -hmm. It should be in the money market instrument. That kind of thing. And ask a lot of questions. Talk to experts. Get a money coach. Learn stuff online. You know, just make sure well, that you're learning. How affordable are you now? Tell me. <laughs> how expensive. affordable are you? So that at all. Do we get it? Do we get a, a special <laughs> free lesson? Absolutely. We are, we are with. You Absolutely. You about equity market and yes. money market. I was wondering, is there a difference between equity market? And yes. Money? So money market, very quickly, um, is where we buy instruments that are dated one year. Mm. So oh. anything you put your money into today, and mm. the money comes back with interest in one year or less. Yes. Mm. That's the money market. The capital market, on the other on the other hand, is like longer. Um, Term. Yes, and then equity is that you're buying shares. It's mm. like ownership Pan in a partnership. Thank you, and it's variable interest, mm. that mm. kind of thing. Or okay. it could be fixed income where you're getting a certain amount. As, lo as soon as you're putting the money, you know how much is going to come out to over you. that tenor. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Hey, Tell me. Hmm. See why we told you. Fire, <laughs> fire. But we don't play here on ways. We don't. We have very sophisticated, smart women. You go, go. Don't play with us. <laughs> Thank you so much, Timmy. I mean, we are going to do this more often. I know. Because you see, I think um, part of what I also want us to do for our audience watching is we want to leave you empowered. Not just saying that, okay, you are empowered with information, also financially mm -hmm. empowered. Because Absolutely. anybody that is financially empowered right now, you have the capacity to think straight. You are limitless. Yes, yes you, you can just, think straight. You are able to take mm -hmm. on yeah. things and Absolutely. just face it. You, know, Absolutely. you are not under pressure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, EC. Thank it's you. It's been a very, very insightful conversation, if I can say so myself. Absolutely. <laughs> now keep all the conversation going on, on our social media platform at Wayshow Africa One or on um, that's on Twitter. Twitter, and then as Wish Show Africa on IG and at Wish Show on Facebook as we continue to hear what you're saying. Thank you so much again. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tammy and Isi, for a fantastic conversation. Now, time. in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Your financial well-being in future is crafted by the choices you make today. So make every penny count. That's from our very own Tammy Obasanya. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. <laughs>